I, well, I'm just going to begin by asking, do you guys have a, a kind of pre-established interest in alchemy and the Philosopher's Stone? Was this, was this a real sort of intriguing research process for you when sort of penning the screenplay? Absolutely. This is, you know, that world is so, it's so weird and mystical and, and kind of scary. You know, we went to Catholic school growing up and so anything like that sounds a little like, uh, like taboo or forbidden and, and it was really fun to dig in on that. And, um, you know, I, I've always been really fascinated with like Egyptian mythology and, you know, some of the, the kind of weirder, uh, mythology uh, of the world and, and yeah the, the science of the Middle Ages is something that's a really interesting uh, time and place and we um, when we had the idea to do you know a movie about the search for the philosopher's stone it really uh, it lent itself to Paris in particular because I mean you guys have made a few horror movies now what, would, what is it about this particular genre that just appeals to you that you think brings the best out of your directing kind of ability well you can really push things into really strange spaces and and uh, and it's a very visceral, uh, visceral uh, directing uh, style. And, and you know, there's something so delightful about sitting in the back of the room and watching a whole audience go, "Wow!" You know, <laughs> like you know, it's coming. You can look down at the audience and see them reacting to something you've just done. And um, I don't know, it's a it's a really fun world to to play in. In the genre too, I think you can really do very strange, bizarre stuff that you can't do in in most other movies. And I think. Uh, Mm -hmm. That's our sensibility a little bit is to kind of push things into you know weirdo space and um, the genre really allows you to be a lot more artistic in, in some ways. So when you watch uh, your movies back in particular obviously as above so below are you able to get caught up in the suspense and appreciate it as an audience member would or are you almost too close to the project for that to be the case? No we I, I feel like we have to like you know an editorial you know the only way to judge if this take is better than that take is okay what you know, you, you sort of have to, we have to trust our own feelings and like, okay, does this one scare me more or does this one scare me more? And, and, and so over and over, it's like we're testing that, that our own visceral reactions to things. And, and yeah, you know, I watch, uh, you know, typically when I'm watching the movie with an audience, like, you know, about the first five minutes, I'm just counting my own breaths, trying to calm down. <laughs> and then the rest of the movie, I get caught up in the movie itself. Yeah. We had a cool experience on this one too where we shot it and we edited for two months and we screened it a couple times and it was it was working pretty well and um, then we actually stepped away and went to Thailand and shot another film and then came back you know five months later and got back into it so we had this uh, that doesn't typically happen where you have this big five month hiatus on a movie and uh, it was really nice because we came back and watched it for the first time and it was very much like seeing it again for the first time and it really um, I don't know. It realized I realized that you know, I could see it like a real audience member, and it could really scare me, even though I knew what was coming around every corner. So when when you do sort of screeners to, to test audiences, are you ever surprised by moments when they might get scared at moments that you might not yes. have expected them to, and totally. vice versa? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Or or things that you know, usually it's uh, I'm surprised by clarity things like something you feel like is very clear is still confusing to people, or something you don't think people will connect the dots on like everyone gets and you know that that's always a, an interesting balance i think you know showing those first few screenings for audiences when you get the feedback it is so critical for those exact reasons cuz you can never totally predict what's going to be perfectly clear and what's not when i saw the movie i sort of came out and i just thought those poor actors <laughs> to go through all the, the <laughs> shooting on location all that kind of claustrophobia but then I thought actually that extends to the crew as well I guess oh I mean, absolutely that, yeah. was it, it must have been quite tough for you guys as well to be down underground for such long periods of time it yeah. was it was it was we were we shot down here for five weeks and you know working full time down here you know and, and it, it sort of it weighs on you after a while and um, we'd sort of have to run with the actors everywhere they went and uh Though, you know, one thing the actors had that we didn't is uh, wet jeans. Yeah, like, they clothes, had a wet yeah. jeans song. Like, I mean, we'd, we'd have to soak them. And uh, that was extra awful because we were at least warm. <laughs> and as for working uh, together, how much does it help that you are brothers? Because with my, my brother's probably the only person I can be nasty to and not feel bad about it. <laughs> and I was wondering if you, if, if you can kind of shout at each other or be, you know, bicker and you don't have to worry about the other person taking offense, I guess. Does that quite help yeah. the kind of creative process? It does, though. My brother's like the one guy I can't be nasty to because uh, <laughs> if he says hell with you, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Um, and likewise, no, I mean, we, we, we grew up very close friends, so we're, we just, I don't think we're very nasty to each other, nasty to each other in general, but, but I think we can be extremely honest with each other and we know that the other one doesn't have any agenda other than 
you know, what we're doing together. And that, that's helpful, I think, in filmmaking. There can be competing agendas even among partners, but when, you're, when your brother is on top of that, it really, you know, the person is coming from a genuine place. So just yeah. finally, just very quickly, of course, the next movie is The Coup, uh, which is mm -hmm. arguably your biggest yet. It's got a huge stellar cast. When's that okay. one coming out and what's that one about? That comes out March 6th, and uh, that is a uh, 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 husband, wife, and their two little girls are moving to a uh, Southeast Asian country for a job. And the day they arrive, a, a coup erupts and uh, overthrows a government and starts attacking the hotel they're staying at. And so not speaking the language, not knowing anyone in the country, they have to get out of the country. And uh, it's a, an intense, like, kind of family survival thriller. And... Uh, um, it's, uh, you know, Pierce Brosnan as you've never seen him and Owen Wilson as you've never seen him and it's, a uh, And Lake Bell is just fantastic. You may, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know her or not, but she's terrific and it's, uh, mm -hmm. a very harrowing nail-biter of a movie. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see it. Thank yeah. you so much for your time today. Thank you.